so something that I wanted to talk about uh, is uh, a person I know uh, from back in the day when I was in the Bay Area. Back um, in the days. Her, her name is uh, Dana Lee, and she has written a book um, that just Ooh. recently, and by recently, I mean today, uh, has come out. And it oh. is it, it dropped today. It's called the Vermilion Riddle. Um, I <clears throat> I was fortunate enough to get an advanced copy uh, to read, and I did. And yeah, yeah. Uh, it's entertaining. It is world building. It is so. This is the first book uh, in a series. Uh, I believe I get the impression that this is going to be building up to more. Um, and it's it's a really interesting concept. So I'm going to read the synopsis uh, really quickly. So, the war between fairies and men dimmed into mythology long ago, contained in the pages of Leah's book. Far from danger, her sheltered town runs on parties and gossip. Then, August Fox purchases the haunted manor in Carmel, and legends begin breaking into her reality. When her father gambles away their livelihood, Leah dutifully accepts August's request for her hand. But a shadow haunts Karayath, his home of towering edifices and warriors, and she must contend with the ghosts of his family's past. Hungry to conquer the immortal realm, Nimrod betrayed the guardians and stole an ancient riddle that would guide him to the keys to fairy. To follow, to his follower's surprise, he names Benedict Fox his second in command. Benedict plays a dangerous game, his agenda diverging from Nimrod's. As they uncover more guardian secrets, Benedict finds himself hurtling towards a choice between saving his family and settling a personal vendetta. The war is never really over, and this time the battle lines cut through blood ties and brotherhood. So hmm. again, this is this is a world building book. I mean, it's in in the very beginning, uh, as you open the pages, there's there's a map that kind of lays out the land. Um, okay, I there's like that. there's a breakdown of how their calendar works. Um, there's That's a lot before you even get into the story. <clears throat> yes, so it's it, legitimate. Yeah, I. I put this on par with like Tolkien in regards to like world building. Um, so, yeah. you know, it's, it, it's really good. Uh, I, I, you know, this is, I, this is no Isla Nubar. This is a world, some yeah. world, not an Island. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're not, uh, we're, we're not getting paid to endorse this in any way, shape or form. Um, I, I was, I was, like I said, given an advanced copy. I read through it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and it's so that's, that, that's why we're talking about it here. Not because I have to, but because I'm I want choosing to. to. Yeah. And it's something that interests us. Absolutely. So, um, especially please... when you know, especially when you know somebody too, that's kind of, that's also, that's also pretty dope. Yeah, exactly. So if you're <clears> interested <throat> in, in, a, uh, an interesting read, um, and, and if you like fantasy, yeah. if you, if you like books like, you know, by Tolkien, like the Hobbit, if you like, uh, what's that show that was really popular, wildly popular? That was on HBO and written uh, by uh, what's his name? You know the one I'm talking about, right? Oh, oh, you mean with, uh, you, with the wizards Game, of and, Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you like Game of Thrones, if you J. like J.R.R. Tolk Mar Martin Martin, that's it. Yes, yeah. No. Uh, Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Tyrus. Game of Thrones. Sorry, I just it was there. I just couldn't get it to come out. Uh, you know that thing with the wizards, the wizards and the dragons, the dragons. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, anyways, it, if you want an interesting read, I know it's there are hardbound copies, but you can also get it on Amazon and and lots of other places digitally if you prefer that format. So, uh, it dropped today. Uh, so. Go check it out. Uh, James, I know you haven't read it. Um, yeah. But I, I would say, you know, go read it. 